JT here, serenading you guys with my beautiful melodies. Uh, time for another update. I don't know why I just played guitar at the first of the video. I just felt like it, you know. Yeah, why not? But um, anyways, got a VHS, Blu-ray, and DVD update for you guys as usual. And it's a pretty decent stack of some stuff I picked up over the past two weeks or so. Not really a whole lot, but, you know, oh well. Let's just go ahead and uh, jump right into it, shall we? Went to the flea market last weekend, picked up three tapes um, for 50 cents a piece, and I was happy to find these. First one we have here is the Annihilators. Really, really cool cover art. Um, seems to be like an 80s action type movie. Like a, maybe like a, I don't know, I don't want to say revenge maybe, but um, just a cool 80s action cool painted cover art there. You got the guy from uh, Bud uh, Chud 2, Bud the Chud, and uh, also played in Terror Vision. I'm a big fan of that guy. I like to see him and stuff, so, you know, figured why not. Next tape up here we have is Combat Shock. Good old trauma flick. I actually still have yet to see this, but I've heard nothing but good stuff. I heard it's pretty disturbing and gory and whatnot. And this is a Star Maker release, which is a budget label, but, you know, Oh well, still got cool cover art, and uh, I'll eventually check that out one of these days. And this is probably the coolest tape that I found, kind of pretty beat up, looks like it's been, uh, um, got some sticker wear and stuff on it here, but it's Night Beast. Um, this is a Paragon tape, first uh, Paragon tape that I've ever found. And I did watch this one, and it was a super cheesy alien flick, but it had some cool gore uh, nonetheless. There's some gore shots from the back of it. Got this for 50 cents. Cool blue cover or a case there. I was happy to find that. It is on DVD, I think, but it's kind of hard to find, I believe. I believe, but I'm not sure. And I've only got one Blu ray to show, and this was a cheapo uh, pick. Uh, but if you guys watched my last slasher video, I was talking about wanting to pick up more slashers, and this was one that I actually enjoyed. It's a newer slasher film, came out in 2006, and uh, it's got WWE. I guess at the time WWF maybe I don't I don't follow wrestling that much I used to watch it but not that much nowadays um, but it has Kane in there and that's See No Evil um, and I actually enjoyed this flick it had some crappy CGI in some spots and whatnot but I actually enjoyed it I haven't got to check out the Blu-ray yet um, which is what I'm gonna go do after this video but you know it had all the elements they all came into place and made a decent little slasher flick pretty cool little creepy song in there playing too and the um, throughout the whole movie. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and go get into the DVDs. And the next two that I'm going to show are the only non-horror DVDs that I picked up in this this uh, run. And this is a two-pack that they had at Walmart. And uh, this is uh, Camp Nowhere and Nowhere. Can't talk today. Um, which was a really fun 90s camp movie. Always liked that one. Got Christopher Lloyd in there. Um, from the Back to the Future films, and this was the reason that I picked it up, and this is Baby, The Secret of the Lost Legend. Um, now, this is one of my all-time favorite movies. I think it's a Disney movie, um, I do believe, but it was one of my all-time favorite movies growing up, and I do have a horribly cut VHS copy of it somewhere. Um, I didn't even know it was on DVD, and I was just looking through the $3 bin that our Walmart's got, and I seen this, and I was like, oh, uh, snatch that up real quick. It's just a fun um cheesy fun dinosaur like a, they find a dinosaur that's still alive a long neck dinosaur and it has uh, William William Cat um, from the house films I think it's his name and the greatest American hero or whatever that show was called in the 80s and Sean Young I think is that girl's name the chick from uh, Ace Ventura uh, but this is just a really really fun movie and it's actually pretty sad I remember I used to I probably shouldn't have watched it when I was a kid because it's got National Geographic boobs and Stuff like that in there, but I always remember it made me sad when it killed the the dinosaur's parents. A little spoiler there for you guys, <laughs> but those are those are fun movies. Cool, cool two pack for three bucks. Next up's another two pack. Um, added this in my pawn shop finds. Uh, they have a five movies for ten ten dollars uh, deal. That's the Apple Dumpling two pack. Apple Dumpling Gang Dumpling Gang two pack. Blah, 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 blah. Um, with Don Knotts and Tim Conway. Really fun Disney movies um, from the seventies. First one has Bill Bigsby um, in it. I don't know if the second one does. I haven't seen it in a long time. Always liked those growing up though. Fun stuff. And oh, here's another non-horror movie, but uh, Charles Bronson in Cold Sweat. 
Uh, I was really happy to find this. I've heard nothing but good stuff. Um, to add to the Bronson collection. I find a lot of Bronson movies at my pawn shop, actually. Um, I don't really much care for this cover art, but, you know, it would still be cool to see the movie. And the next one here is a horror title that I remember, um, Wedge and Tom, I think was his, how you pronounce his YouTube name, which is Terror for Tommy now. Um, I remember him talking about this one, and this is a uh, zipper face, and this is a weird little flimsy case here, and that's one thing that kind of drew me to it. It was different. Um, I thought the case was. And I got the movie for 94 cents, um, or 95 cents, which is a weird price for a film, but, you know, I got the DVD in there. And this movie sucked. It was horrible. <laughs> it was like a, I don't know, a bondage uh, Lifetime channel movie or something like that. Uh, but it was cool, you know, cool find. Scream 2, adding that to the uh, 90s slasher section. Good old Scream flicks. You gotta enjoy those. Um, I've seen this one in theater when it first came out. Um, I enjoyed the Scream movies. I, I, I thought Scream 4 was good. Um, and I like the other, I like the first and second. I don't care for the third one, but you know. Oh well. And the next one I picked up here is the first release of Happy Birthday to Me. Now, most of you guys watch my other video. I know I showed the uh, original release of Happy Birthday to Me, but this one has a different soundtrack I hear, which is probably not good, but, you know, I was trying to fill up the 5 for 10 deal, and, and uh, you know, this is just something different. I like to get different releases of stuff if they have different covers or different uh, soundtracks or stuff like that. This cover art sucks too, but it'll be worth it just to see the different music. So. But here, this one's the superb edition, which, you know, look at that cover art. You got, you can't go wrong with that. And here it has the better music. But, you know, I'll put those side by side in the collection. Why not? Uh, that was a weak burp, and it hurt. Um, anyways, last one I picked up here was Friday the 13th Part 2. Um, I already had these. I got all the Friday films, but 1 through 4, I think was 1 through 4, had the original cover art DVD releases, and I never got those. And I always wished I had because I love the cover arts for these. These are the ones I grew up uh, seeing in the video store back in the day. Was this cover art right here. And I seen it at the pawn shop and I was like, yeah, why not? You know, throw it up on the shelf. It's great. I want to get the first four with the original cover art. But I don't really care about the other one they did. They were the other ones. Um, that's all the movies I picked up. I did get some toys that I'll go ahead and um, show. Nothing spectacular. Now these were from McDonald's, I think, or one of the restaurants back in the day. This is from Animaniacs, Buttons and Mindy there. Um, this is a little set of cars. I got all these for a quarter piece. Quarter a piece. Um, Montana Max from uh, Tiny Toons. This is a good one. Um, the rest of them are all, all our uh, Tiny Toons uh, pickups. And this is Plucky Duck and Hamilton the Pig. Cool little set of toys uh, from some nostalgia that I used to have back in the day. These little cars. And uh, Babs from uh, Tiny Toons, and you flip this one over. I had a bunch of these. I think I had the whole set, actually. And then you got Plucky. So that's all of the stuff I picked up. I just want to show those little cars there real quick because I have some minutes left over in my video. I guess I could show this. I've got the original Friday uh, Part 8, I guess. Takes Manhattan. Jason Takes Manhattan with the cover art. Yeah, I love that cover art. Uh, actually, I wanted the uh, poster where he's slashing through the I Heart New York. That was really cool. Um, cool poster art. But I think that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next probably week or a few days. Peace.